Coach, when you when you can beat a team in your league as handily as you did um, on Saturday, I mean, what does that do for the for just everybody's confidence? Uh, I think it definitely helps. Um, you know, it was a it was a great week of practice that led up to a very good basketball game that we played. Um, you know, and hopefully we're smart enough to understand that that if we want to play another good basketball game, we've got to have another good week of practice. Is that the most complete game you you've seen from this team since you've been here, Coach? Yeah, I think so. It's it's. You know, a game where we defended very, very well. We stuck to a game plan and executed a game plan. And then offensively, when we had open shots, we made them. And I thought we did a good job of creating open shots. Um, you know, we got shots off our offense that weren't just three-pointers. We got some curl cuts for layups and things like that. And that, that shows that we're developing offensively. And that's something I was real happy to see from an offensive standpoint. Do you see light bulbs going on, Coach, with just all these players? They, I mean, they're finally really starting to, to execute what you, the way you expect. I think so. I think every day we're getting a little bit better, and I think we're you're seeing some strides. You know, I, I think we've been getting better, but sometimes it's very minuscule amount of improvement. I think you know, over the last couple of days, we saw some, some big strides made by some players and, and a better understanding of exactly what we're trying to accomplish. What do you think it says about, I guess as poorly as you played earlier in the week and then to come and play, you know, such a good game on, on a Saturday, what's it say about the team and the progress you think that they're, they're making? I think they're maturing, and I think they're having, uh, you know, I think that loss in New York really hit some people pretty hard, and, um, you know, there was a high level of disappointment and, and a real sense of urgency to make a change and make sure it didn't happen again, and I think that was, the result of that was Saturday's game, and, and that was good for us. Can this be a jumping off point, Coach, that uh, you know, now you're taking the steps and, and more wins are coming and that this team is going to make this a, a big turnaround? I hope so. Um, you know, the, the makeup of our league is that we're, we're going to be challenged every single night and you're going to have to be able to give a great effort every single night. Um, and that's a, that's a real challenge to a team, uh, any team. Uh, and then that's, I think, the next big challenge that we face is being able to give that kind of effort on a consistent basis every Thursday and Saturday throughout the month of uh, January and February. Do you now have to kind of teach the team that you can't, you know, you can't over, you got to, you can't have a letdown after a big win and that, you know, is, is, is that something you want to protect against? I think so. I, and again, I, it's, it's easy to protect against because we have the, uh, the results of that very fresh in our minds still after our trip out, out east. So... You know, it's something that we'll talk about briefly, um, and hopefully it won't need more than a brief reminder to make sure everybody's ready to go. Um, you know, we had a good practice today and get two more in before we play on Thursday. Is it becoming more of, you know, we think we can win more so, we know we can win. It's more expected, the positive results after, you know, so much negative prior to this season? I think so. I, I think the expectations of each other is, is just as you said. I think they, ex they expect to win the game. Um, and both teams really should. I mean, from here on out, I mean, everybody's playing and they expect to win. There's a lot of good teams left on our schedule. Um, and, you know, we expect to beat Butler as much as Butler expects to beat us on Thursday, and, and that's got to be the mentality if you're going to compete in this conference. Talk about Butler and Valpo, Coach. What do each of those uh, teams bring to the table here? Well, you know, they're both, they're both defending very, very well. Um, teams are not scoring a lot of points on either one of them. Um, you know, Butler runs a ton of stuff. Just, just a, a ridiculous amount of stuff. I wish they'd run less. Um, you know, so just getting through that and trying to filter out how much and what, how you're going to guard it and what you're going to guard and, and not overwhelm the kids but still give them enough to be successful is the challenge for, for Thursday. And then you, know, you get into a, a very scrappy Valpo game. Um, again, another team that's not going to let you score a lot. Um, I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit and you know, you have to guard a lot of ball screens on both teams throughout the weekend. Uh, so, you know, they'll both be good challenges. They'll be on the road. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's exciting, I guess. Nice to be back in the routine of practice a few days, actually play games, and, you know, getting back in the swing of things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's nice. Uh, everybody had a nice break over Christmas, but it's nice for us to get into this part of the season where the, the work week's a little more regular. You know, you have a Sunday off, and then you got a couple of days to get ready. You play, you prepare, you play, and get back into that routine. You've played a lot of road games to start the year, so I mean, and you said it before. Those games, you know, you feel like are preparing you for road games in the conference, which mm -hmm. are that much tougher. I think so. I, I mean, we played an Akron team that runs a bunch of stuff as well. 
um, and, you know, and, and being able to digest that information um, and understand that you're not getting everything uh, is, is important, that you're going to see something new that we didn't prepare for simply because we can't go over 30 sets in two days. It's just not feasible. Um, so being in that situation and, and working our way through that situation is, has been good for us and I hope will continue to be good for us.